The play Scat out of the Gun U Trips formation is a very versatile play that you can use to beat both man and zone coverages. And I'm going to show you how to use it in this video. Now, this is out of the Patriots playbook. And what we get with this play Scat is we get this really sharp cutting corner route. Now, if you want to get my entire U Trips offensive ebook, I'm going to put a link to my Patreon in the description. We dropped the U Trips over a week ago, and we're going to be updating this ebook as well. Patreon members get access to all ebooks and all of our updates to those ebooks. So again, if you want to sign up, it's only $10, and the link is going to be down in the description. For this setup, it's actually uh, one of the cooler underrated routes in the game is this tight end flat route. I'm going to show you why. So I'm going to put the, the actual rest of the setup here. So what we're going to do is we are going to streak or fade the outside trips receiver, okay? And then from there, really, it's up to you on the back side of this what you want to do. I like to put the solo wide receiver on a smart route and in route. If you have hot route master or slot apprentice, a slot apprentice post is really good. But for now, we're going to put him on the deep dig route. And then the running back wheel, I actually like to leave this wheel route um, against zone, but if it is man coverage, I'm just going to put him on a regular in route. And I want to show you this really cool setup. So let's say, for example, that your opponent is going to send some pressure. So this is one of the best blitzes in the game. We have a full ebook on this in the Patreon. This is Mike Blitz Zero. And basically, they're going to hover in this gap and try to get the pressure in. So I'm just going to try to get the pressure in. What you'll see is that Titan will chip and then he'll release. And that's actually really cool how that all worked out. So I'll show you this in replay why this is so good. These chip block animations this year are significantly better than they've ever been in Madden. So what you're going to see here is he's going to he's gonna chip for just a second. And what that does is it stops the A-gap pressure out of nickel 3-3 cut. Then what he's going to do is he's going to cut out. And the way man-to-man -man works this year, this defender is really slow to get to the flat. So we can really take advantage of this with this play. So again, I'll show it to you again. And we'll go, well, we're not going to worry so much about the blitz. I just wanted to show you that the blitz is not going to work, um, which is really, really important because then we're going to be able to make a quick read. Now, it's also the same thing is true for like the loop blitz out of 3-3. Now, they might get the blitz on the left, but they're not going to get it on the right. And so what you'll see here again, going to chip, then he's going to release, gives us time to hit the pass. And then as you can see, he's going to get open relatively quickly. And most people aren't going to want to use our flat route, right? So they're going to just leave this as is. And the problem with all this is going to be, they are going to have to really, uh, you know, use her the tight end. So you see here, release, gives me plenty of time to hit the flat. And then I can throw this for an easy five to seven yards. One of my favorite routes in the game because of what it can do to the blitz. Okay. So if you really want to run this play and you want to see some of the other routes against a blitz, then you're going to want to block your running back. Okay. Uh, but I really like this chip block. I think it's actually really good, and it does really good against man. So keep that in mind, all right? So the rest of the play, uh, as far as how does it work, what I like to do is if they're going to play some you know, standard coverage, let's say they're playing standard coverage, okay? Your man-to-man -man beaters on this play is going to be this corner route, pass lead outside. Now that corner route is actually really good, and as soon as he cuts to the sideline, that's when you're wanting to hit this. Now, a lot of people, what they're doing with their shading this year is they're shading inside, okay? So this is going to make this route better. You can put this outside receiver on a fade. It'll get him an outside release. And then you'll see here, free form sideline, possession catch. It should be literally right on the sideline right there. Now, what a lot of people will have to do against U-Trips as this all plays out is you're going to see a deep half defender over the top to handle press man-to-man -man because press man-to-man -man is not good if you can pick up the blitz, okay? So also, uh, please don't sleep on this backside dig. You'll see right here, just passing that down. And uh, as you can see there, you want to possess catch that. Otherwise, it can get knocked out over the middle of the field. The running back, again, if you think that it is man coverage, okay, if you think that it is man-to-man -man coverage, Put the running back on a wheel route. We know wheel routes uh, this year are really good against main coverage, especially if there's no safety help. So you'll see right here when he cuts inside, um, you can try to free freeform and high point this up and over and get that animation just like that. If he doesn't have a step, don't throw the ball, right? But this play was actually built um, and is really good against zone coverage. So uh, specifically cover four and uh, cover three. So what you'll see against this play in that in those coverages is this corner route is going to be a nice outside. And what this really is what we're trying to do with this play 
is we're trying to attack the right side, specifically the right flat, the right intermediate sideline, and the right deep fade route, okay? Now, let's say they go to cover two. I actually think cover two is going to do pretty decent against this combo because of the fact that the flat or the corner route is a flat corner route and just the way the game is going to interact here. But what you'll see is this cloud flat will back up significantly. You can check it down to that tight end flat and you can actually just take whatever the defense gives you here. Because if you think about it, a lot of people like to blitz out of cover two. So if they send a blitz at you, those vertical hooks will disappear and you'll be able to hit, you know, your cloud, uh, your your uh, tight end flat. The other thing you can try to hit is this deep fade route over the top. That is more of a set feet lead throw. If you don't have set feet lead, it's going to be a little harder to fit that in. But you can uh, at least peek it, right? You can, you can always peek it. If they're bringing the safeties down, which a lot of people like to do, like they're bringing these deep half defenders really into the box, then it's going to make this throw a little bit more of a possibility once he gets over the edge there. And that was, I don't know what happened there. I think my chip block didn't work right. If they're, if they're, if you're ever getting any of that, then just put the tight end on a flat route. If you really don't, like if you don't think they're going to blitz you, if they, they're playing coverage, then just put the tight end on an out and it will basically serve the same purpose. But I like the chip block against the blitz. So you see here, here's the out route. Boom, easy read. And we'll just take our simple five yards. Okay, so the, the bottom line here, though, is this play was really built for cover three, cover four in terms of how it's practically going to play out, especially right now with no throwing velocity and mutt. But please take this corner out super effective and it's going to force them to have to really protect the right side of the field. So now you're going to put them in a situation where they're going to have to have a hard flat. They're going to have to have a cloud flat. They're going to have to have a deep half. And then the, that's going to open up the middle of the field, which I think is really where U-Trips makes its money, is it's the best offense in the game at attacking in the middle of the field with things like this little dig right over the middle. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you want to get my entire U-Trips ebook, join the Patreon today, 10 bucks. The link is down in the description. You get everything by being a member, including all of the updates and everything like that.